Alright, so I want to do a couple videos here on jQuery Mobile as I'm learning it. Um, it's still in alpha, so there's a lot to work around. But I want to show you one thing that I think everyone's going to need, and that's a global notification system for these jQuery Mobile web apps. And basically this is built off of an, another video I have about global notifications, which basically let you set a session variable. So for example, you would if you have an error, you set session error with an array so you can have multiple messages and you just set the message. And then on the front end, um, as the page loads, it would automatically load with the notification bar and it would check that session and then display the messages out in a function uh, that we call print messages, which basically looks at the types of messages that you have, loops through the messages, and basically prints out the messages and the CSS and picks up from there. So an example of this would be if you are on the store and you get a checkout and you're not logged in, it sets that session variable and this page al always has that notification bar. So it checked the session and realized this is here. And so now it says error, you need to be logged in to check out. So this is, a, this is a global system and it's a really nice system because all I have to do is set a session variable and I can, I can do a success, I can do an error or an info. And what the difference is, is that it dif different color. So if I set this to success and save and, and, and if I go to the checkout again, now it's going to be a nice green bar. So you can use this, basically it's a global notification system and it's awesome. So check out the other video if you want to see how to do that. But here's the idea. We want to do this for an iPhone app and we're going to use jQuery Mobile. So what notifications does jQuery Mobile come with now? That's going to be, let's let's kill a link here and, and look at an error message. So if we go to our store page and we do slash name cut instead because that's not a correct link. Oops ignore that. Okay, so if we load this, and now if we go to a link, we get this error loading page dialog. It's yellow and it comes up for a second. Uh, jQuery Mobile does not give any other options for other colors or even a function to open that bar. So what I've done is, let's put that back to be correct. So what I've done is I've made my own mobile JS file which basically has a function called, basically it's not even a function, it just uh, grabs the notification. And let me explain why it's doing this. Basically when this gets put on the page, okay, so let's not have this for a second, and have my normal notifications as I would, okay, so let's go ahead and run that checkout page, which gets called down here, so let's lo reload this, and then if I load the checkout page, it says error, you need to be logged in, right, so if we look at what that actually is, by loading up our iPhone version and clicking checkout and we right click on this and inspect the element we can see that it put the notification bar just as it was supposed to okay it did it perfectly fine however it didn't use my styles because they're not imported for the mobile version but I don't want my styles to look like the the website anyway I want them to be that pop-up notification so what I did is I looked at the jQuery source code, the jQuery mobile source code, and figured out how they were popping up their error messages. And so now what this does is it grabs that div, because now that it's on the page, okay? And it basically, uh, well, first, uh, I've, I'm, I'm figuring out what extra style to set. And I've created three new styles, uh, suck for success, error for error, and info for info. And then E is, is uh, style E, which is yellow, which is uh, the warning, because warning supposed to be yellow anyway, so I'm just leaving that alone. Um, and then this is actually, from their source code, uh, this is how they're actually, uh, yeah, this is, this is how they're actually loading um, their boxes. So if you were to open the mobile jQuery mobile JS file, you would see this in here. So I just took that, and then I made a couple modifications. One is um, this, the top position. What I'm doing is I'm going to offset it. So there's many messages. There's a potential to have many messages. So I'm offsetting it by 100 plus i. So it's going to move it down 100 pixels each time. And I'll show you this in a second. It's also going to wait a second to show it or wait, wait a second um, before they each go away at different speeds. So let's take a look at what this looks like instead of me talking about it. So save that and let's actually make a couple. So, so well, let's do the first one. Okay, let's do an error. So here's an error message now with this new system. So if we refresh the page and cause that error to happen, it now says error, you need to be logged in. Okay, now that went away pretty quick so we might want to adjust the timing. 
okay but let's say we have multiple messages because that's where this really shines so let's have three different types of messages let's have the error the success and an info and so if I actually refresh this now um, so let's just say I'm, I'm using my system and I've got three types of messages coming back if I go to my checkout now you can see I've got a nice a green a red and a blue and it looks like I need to make those uh, stay longer because they don't seem to stay that long at all so you know maybe we'll make this we'll make these forever <laughs> uh, before. so this is an adding a whole extra second onto here which is probably not a good idea but uh, for these notifications that might be fine so check out so now it says success, error, and info, and you'll see that they'll go away at different times. So now I've got a, my same global notification system, the same exact one that I used on the website that I had in the other video, and all I had to do was add this functionality. And of course, I also added these styles. I, these are the three extra styles that I did. All I did was change the colors. Th that's it. And there's added the, you know, the the, the suffix here. So. It, so basically by adding this function I'm able to have my same global, global notification system that I have on the full website but on the iPhone version and what's cool about this system is that it's color coded to match so now we've got a global notification system for jQuery mobile